you can't tell what's going to happen with this kind of weather. One minute it's raining, then it's sunny, then it's raining again, then it's windy, and then it's raining and sunny. All in the space of 24 hours, one day. Well, we've got a bit of sun at the moment, a bit of clouds and a bit of sun. This is Garden of Daddy Aisha 2017. Godi, right here. And um, I'm gonna show you what I've been doing with my pumpkins. So let's take a trip. Okay. Oh, okay, this is the shot. This is the shot. This is what I see when I enter into my garden from the kitchen. And um, yeah, this is lunchtime now. The first one was um, aborted by the rain and the wind and my batteries and all kinds of stuff. So here we go. As you can see, green everywhere, greenery everywhere, lovely greenery everywhere. Pumpkins growing on the left side. Pumpkins growing. I don't know if you can see that, it's in the dark there. Here you go. On the right side, going all the way down the end there amongst the ivy. Pumpkins growing in the middle, going all the way up that frame over there. We've got, what, well, there's a pumpkin petals down here because I was doing some self-pollinating this morning before the rain came and stopped me. Uh, let's start by looking at these frames. You can see that the pumpkins have started in this, this is the first patch, there's three actual pumpkins planted here. There's three vines going up, up and over, up and over that frame. And um, there's a secondary vine going back and going up over there into this passion flower bush, which is my, my natural curtains <laughs> to the kitchen area at the back here. Yeah. So over on this side is patch two, pumpkin patch two. And this one goes all the way along, down the right wing, down the right wing, all the way down the right wing and up into the yonder distance. The third patch is the one right here. This is centre forward, yeah? And because of the sun, I don't know if you can see that properly, half of it's in shade. Let's go over into the shade side. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. You can see it better. So this is the third little patch and this runs up and over this same frame that we got on this side. Right, so we've got these two frames. There's a one there and one there, which are kind of built out of bamboo sticks that I had lying around. And the reason I did that is because at the end of this channel, if we come around, if we come around this side, at the end of this channel here, there's a drain hole. There you go. I was trying to show it this morning before the rain came down. There's a drain right there. And that drain, it tends to block and floods the garden. So we're always having um, um, drain unblockers coming in and dealing with that. So that access to that drain had to be kept open. And I knew that if I grew pumpkins, they tend to take over the whole garden. As you can see, they've taken over the whole of this patch. And if this frame was not there, it would have went all the way across, all the way across here, all the way down, right the way down to the end, and maybe over the fence <laughs> and into the grass beyond. So I had to come up with some way of keeping this channel here clear. So I got all these sticks, these bamboo sticks, and kind of weave them together in this kind of mesh here for the pumpkins to grow over the top of and so doing keeping this part clear which i don't know if you can see that sun's not really helping so let's go down the middle and then you can see you can actually walk down and there's a pumpkin right here can you see this there's one right here oh, let's take this out so we can see what we're doing there's one right there and it is actually balancing on a water bottle with a football cone 
that I've had lying at home, lying around. And that's to take the strain off of this vine right here, which was really tight as this thing got bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier. There you go. Can you see that? As it got bigger and bigger, it's quite, it's quite firm and heavier and heavier. It started to pull on this, on this vine, which is actually pulling on the frame because this is just bamboo and this might collapse, you know? So you have to come up with some kind of way. I had to come up with a way to keep it from collapsing. And that is what I came up with. Well, it's quite nice actually. Yeah, so that's one pumpkin. This is, only, this is about a month. This has been going for about a month, maybe a month and a bit. All this growth has happened in the space of a month and a bit. If you look up the top there, and if you can see it from here. But there is an actual pumpkin growing right up there. Here. Can you see that? Yeah, there's one growing there and I've just snapped something behind me. I don't know what it is. I have to be really careful because um, if you look down here, these vines are quite brittle. Once they set, they become quite brittle. And down here, I don't know if you can see this down here, I've had to actually repair one, <laughs> try a repair, I snapped it, and I've put a splint on here. Can you see this? Let's see. Right on here. Uh, can you see? I can't see, can you? Let's come around this side. There you go. Still not very clear. Here, it's kind of snapped. So I put a splint, piece of wood, and I cabled it all up because it's basically biology, like a broken leg, how you'd fix a broken leg. There you go, can you see that? I can't see very well. But the leaves are still growing on the end. They seem to be okay. It happened yesterday, we'll see what happens anyway. But anyway, 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 let's go down the end, down this little channel that we got, the pumpkin channel. It's so nice and green in here and it, shield the sun so when it's hot i can actually come and sit in here <laughs> i can come and sit in here and just be shielded and read or sleep or something yeah we've got all these yellow male pumpkin flowers that open for a day they open for one day and the bees come along and fly inside you know, trying to get nectar, pick up the pollen, and they go and fly into the female flowers, pollinating it, and then you end up with a pumpkin that's ready to grow. There's one over there, right there. Can you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah right here. See that? Can you see that? I'm trying to focus this. It's a little one growing. And you can still see the flowers just closed up and that happened yesterday. The flowers closed up and that will, what will happen is it will get bigger and it's sticking up, it will, it will drop down and then start to develop and grow. Once it drops down, you know it's on its way. There's one here that you should be able to see that's actually dropped down, this one here, there you go. That's dropped. Can we brighten this up? There you go. That's dropped. It was sticking up and then as it gets heavier, it drops down and then, you know, it's starting to develop. It's on its way. So yeah, that's two. There's one over there, three. And there's another one somewhere. Where is it? Can't find it now. There's another one around here somewhere. There's four around here. But yeah, you can see this frame here. It's a bit rickety. And I'm, every day I'm trying to shore it up to make sure that it doesn't collapse. We've got, I tied some string here. I don't know if you can see that net goes all the way up and anchors it to stop it from going from side to side. It's like a jungle down here. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Ha 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 ha. Okay, there's the passion fruits up there. They've come from next door and they've gone all the way over and we just love the way they 
taken over that space there. So I kind of like just let it go. Yeah, so the frames and the pumpkins, let's go through again and come out the other side and I'll show you the other frame. As I said, this is like two months maximum growth, two months max, you know, these things grow fast. They drink a lot of water and they grow absolutely speedily. Speedy Gonzales, fast. There's an, that pumpkin again, the big one, the big one. I the big one that and if we come out the other side here maybe I can show you from here around here if we come around spin around back on ourselves okay here's the big leaves the big pumpkin leaves let's turn that down a bit yeah big pumpkin leaves oh there's the other one right here there 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 she blows yeah little pumpkin female pumpkin flower on the end it's actually closed up opens for a day it's closed up and that will develop and as it gets bigger and heavier it will drop down and then start to grow so we'll see there's four on this frame yeah there's the other one from this side you can see it now, probably can see it better. Yeah, with a flower on it sticking up. So we're gonna keep our eye on that over the next couple of days and see what it, what happens. But it should end up looking like this one here that's dropped and will start to get bigger and bigger and develop nicely into a fully fledged, hopefully, pumpkin. Just have to wait and see. So there's the frame, let's step back. You can see that frame. Hopefully it won't collapse. And every day it's a constant job trying to keep it from collapsing. There's the second one, second frame is over there. Beautiful pumpkin leaves, as you can see. These ones haven't come all the way over the top though. They're They've come to the top and to the edge, and now they're about to start make, making their way down the other side. And again, if we go underneath, we can see, here's one. Here's one that I did earlier. Again, it's been balanced. Take the strain off that pumpkin by balancing it on a cone which is actually sitting in a water bottle. And that just takes the weight off the vine and actually off the frame. Because these things get heavy. So that's one, it's the first one down there. There's two, there's a the second one. Second one on this vine. See if I can brighten that up a bit, second one. Yeah, the flower's dropped off of that one and it's dropped and as you can see it's going to start developing nicely. It's a good size, size of a big apple at the moment. Uh, where's the other one? There's some little ones up the top that are just, that are just doing their thing. This one here, the flowers, as you can see, is just folded up, just closed up. So that's all it has to do is just start developing now. There's another one over there. So that's four, how many is that? One, two, three, four. There's some little ones on here, some little baby ones that I don't know what's gonna happen, whether they're gonna develop or not. We'll just have to wait and see. But over the other side, we've got another big one down here. There you go, can you see that? Another big one. And that, again, is sitting on a contraption designed to take the strain off that umbilical cord and off the frame. This little flimsy wooden wooden frame. And there's another one up here. It's quite a lot this year so far. But you mustn't count your chickens before they hatch because these pumpkins will come on the frame and sometimes they'll die on the frame. You know, they look like they're developing and then they're just 
all of a sudden shrivel up for no apparent reason. There's another one here. Yeah, there you go. Can you see that one there? That's a um, little one still pointing up. That's on its way. So this is growing all the way along, all the way along, all the way along, reach the end, going down, and it's gonna go all the way down to the ground. And God knows what's gonna happen after that. I have to work something out. So work in progress. We've got this one coming up the side. Where is it? Come on, it's dark. Let's lighten that up. We've got this coming along the side. It's coming all the way along, all the way along, all the way along, all the way along. All the way along, all the way up. And it's going up this pole at the moment. So it looks like it wants to go up to the sky. <laughs> Reach the sky. There's no pumpkins on this one yet. Funnily enough, the one on the side. So I'm in an old what and what a guan, deso. So we just have to wait to see. So yeah, there you have it. There you have it. 2017 Garden of Daddy Aisha. The pumpkins are looking good so far. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, I guess. Wait and see what happens. But may I have my order already. Me know where me want. So we just have to wait and see. It's all good. We're gonna keep an eye on it. We've got some rhubarb down here. Uh, have a look at this. This rhubarb was actually planted last year and it just grows and grows and grows and grows. It just came back up from last year, did nothing. And I've had so much rhubarb off of this already. So much rhubarb crumble already. <laughs> And I know I shouldn't say it in front of the plant because it can hear me and it's not going to be happy. But this thing just grows and grows. You want something that can grow easily without much maintenance. Rhubarb, oh my God, it's got to be the number one. Beautiful, tasty, gorgeous. Yeah? You don't eat the leaves because the leaves are poisonous. You just eat the stem, cut the leaves off and leaves go in the, um, in the compost. We had some onions in here, not onions, what are they? It was garlic. This is what's left of the garlic. The garlic comes up twice a year. So once it's all consumed, there was so much in here. Once it's all consumed, you leave those, those containers. By September, they'll be, they'll be growing again. Second batch, second wave of garlic. So we're left at to do its, its thing. Uh, we've got some flowers over here. Not sure what those are some nice pink flowers yeah and we've got down here we've got we've got strawberry now the strawberries we've had a couple quite a few actually but it's a battle with the slugs the, lug, the slugs like strawberries so we've got you got to get out here before they get out here and we've got all this straw on here that's you know they don't like walking in the straw so that's the idea and to keep the moisture in as well but it's a battle with the slugs for the charberry them. Charberry. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. So there it is. We'll keep you posted as to the progress of, well, mainly the pumpkins really, because that's what it's all about this year. I wasn't going to plant anything, but I had some pumpkin seeds and I flung them in in the germinator and I forgot about them I left them in a dark room in a dark cupboard and um, to cut a long story short when I came back there was a jungle in there <laughs> so I flung them in the garden and this is the result pumpkins all over the place so done that's it we'll come back in a couple of weeks and see what the progress is whether these these frames have blown down whether the weight has torn them down, uh, whether the pumpkins have grown into some massive giant monsters or whether, or whatever happens, we'll see. Inshallah, God willing, in a few months. Okay, peace, peace.